Hello out there everybody, welcome to the channel. It's really good to be back with you, we're playing some more Stellaris today. I am your overlord, the Godless Gamer. This is episode 20 of my Tale of Galactic Conquest. Today we get to catch our breath. Uh, we just ended an invasion of the SOW that was really successful, but we have to kind of catch our breath, recuperate our losses. Uh, we'll go at it again, and this time it'll be for keeps, so no longer are we going to allow them to take everything back behind us uh, the next time we invade. The strategy is going to be to lock down the constellations that constitute the SOW down here, and there are technically two entrances. We control one of them, the other one is down here. So when we invade the second time, we have to rush for this star, build a star base to prevent any allies from being able to send uh, ships in this way, lock down these constellations, and then we'll start consuming the SOW like from within, or from behind a safe border. How many fleets do I have? I have four. We're not gonna use four. I need a fleet to... Because we have two borders here, I need a fleet here to defend, I need a fleet here to defend. That's only gonna leave me three fleets to do all this, and then once we rush here, I need to leave a fleet behind here. So to do the invasion, I'm only going to have two fleets, but that's okay. The numbers won't won't be a bother so much because the only fleets that they'll be able to send against me are the ones that they're going to they're going to be building within this area. So they'll only be able to build because everything coming in from the outside will be blocked. The only way they will be able to resist any fleets taking all this is by building them in here. But they shouldn't, and I will prioritize the systems that I notice that are shooting out uh, ships. I think it's this one. They have fleets coming out of this system now. So they might have a shipyard here. So this is a high priority system, but that's after we take this one. So, um, but that's going to be a few minutes in. Let's unpause. That's going to be a few minutes in, guys, because we still need to recuperate. We need to build up our fleets again. I'm a little wary of the pirate horde that's rampaging through here. They're getting dangerous, dangerously close to my border here, but I do have two fleets. I'm predicting that this faction here, their expansion is going to slow down and they're going to get stopped eventually. Like, their progress is going to grind to a halt. The Track Potion Commerce Guild broke off their research agreement with the SOW. The Kingdom of Nevedral, Nevedral has declared the Jigalwin Hive their rival, so there's some there's some bad relations going on within the Coalition. That's really good to see. Today... Oh no, we already started it. We're gonna get our Matter Decompressor to the first tier, and that'll start bringing in some alloys. The Jigalwin Hive have entered a research agreement with the SOW. Okay, that's not good. One of our stations is under attack. Okay. We'll work our way from the top down to the bottom, so we need two Corvettes. I had just enough to build 11 destroyers. One of our spaceports. I am building another army. Our that way we can station two armies on two different fronts. We'll have this army here. I don't need to reinforce this one because the second time, or the next time we go through the SOW, it's going to be much easier to invade things. The other army I'm building, I'm going to station here, and then we'll take these at some point. Xeno fleet engaged. I'm noticing that the deviancy is getting a little high on Bumblebee Prime, but I did queue up some Sentinel posts, so this shouldn't be an issue. I might have caught it too late. We'll see what happens, but if, if I caught it too late, it's not a big deal. We can manage deviancy, no problem. Now, I want to build... I want to build another Dyson Swarm around this star. I can't build any more spheres. I've already built one, so I'm at my limit. 
But I can build as many swarms as I want. This is a really good star for that. So we're going to have this construction ship. Swarms are relatively cheap, too. And I'm also going to build a furnace here. It has some molten worlds, and there's a decent amount of bodies in, in the system. There are some asteroids, too, and those count. So we'll build an arc furnace here, too. And these are safe, protected systems. They are deep in my empire, behind a bunch of borders. So these are the kind of systems you want to build megastructures in. The research agreement is already broken? <laughs> okay. Alright. Let's manage my list here. I have a couple of stations to manage. I need to upgrade this orbital ring as soon as I can. There's just not a planetary processor on the planet yet. I need to build up this station too. One of our spaceports is under attack. They're just retaking these. One of our spaceports has been lost. At some point, I would like to colonize some more planets. These two look pretty good. I already converted them to machine worlds, and they're both decent size. And we get two for one. Two planets in one system. So I'm going to colonize these two planets at some point. I need to be cautious about colonizing too quickly, because it, negative, it negatively affects your economy while you're colonizing. One of our spaceports has been lost. Our ships have been upgraded. One of our spaceports has been lost. Xeno station engaged. I can't react to every little thing that he says. I'm trying to be... Aware. Okay, so that... Oh, no, no. We need five cruisers for that fleet now. Okay. Gotta wait a bit. My mineral... Uh, my alloy production is doing okay. It's doing okay. It could do better. But I would need to colonize Hostile another planet for that. Fleet engaged. It's enough to suit our needs now. The SOW and the Chikolin Hive signed another research no. agreement. Make up your minds. One of our stations is under attack. One of our spaceports has been lost. Five cruisers. Construction complete. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. I'm not even going to read it. I will do like I did before and use the shipyards over here to help me build up my uh, fleets here. Once we One get some more alloys.
one of our spaceports has been lost. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. One of our stations is under attack. This is so tedious doing this constantly, jumping back and forth, but we destroy a fleet One every time we do it, so it is worth lost. it. Force them to have to keep building ships and using up resources. Grind them down. Okay. Okay, so the DVNC is under control a little bit more. Before we upgrade this, I need to upgrade this building in order to upgrade my ring. But, you know what? We need to start making up for these, uh... We need to start creating, or producing more rare resources. So let's get an exotic gases factory built, and then we'll upgrade that. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. Okay. So fleet number one is done. On to fleet number two. One of our spaceports is under attack. One of our spaceports has been lost. Almost done with our swarm, then we'll build the furnace. And I already have a furnace in this system. The star has a five base power uh, output, which isn't bad. It's not great. The one I'm building right now is a seven, but this one is not bad. This is worth building as Dyson Swarm around too, so we'll build another Dyson Swarm. Let's stay on top of some like really simple mega structures, like the swarms and the furnaces. They're like the lower tier ones, whereas like the century arrays and uh, the, uh, the science nexus and the Dyson Sphere, those are like the really, really big mega structures taking this one a little bit more seriously they're sending a, a decent sized one 30k just another fleet for me to destroy okay where is this all right this is our new border let's build a few more defensive platforms build a couple Okay. And then as soon as I have the alloys, we'll build the furnace. I need 500. I'll get that in the next turn. One of our spaceports has been lost. Let's take it out. It's pretty easy. We have mastered a new technology. Exp 
explosive weapon damage, so that helps us a lot. We use missile systems. Juggernaut. Do I need juggernauts right now? No. And one thing I would like to do, since I have a lot of influence and I'm not spending a lot of it, let's manage our spy network here in the SOW. We can steal some tech. And then maybe... Oh, I have to rebuild this spy network? Oh, it's okay. We already have 80 in infiltration levels starting. And we have some assets left over. So let's steal tech from them too. I won't go crazy with my spy networks, but we'll, we'll use a couple of them. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. Ten more destroyers. I'm so sorry, Alloys, but I need you. I suppose I could spend some... That's too expensive. Never mind. The Han Murin Horde has noticeably slowed down its expansion, as I predicted. They do have some strong fleets around, though, still. I think this army is done. Let's put some more strength into it. Stations is under attack. Our matter decompressor is almost done. We're like three quarters of the way. The Tianki home system has been scoured. The last of the Tianki, the space squid, uh, in the Tiana Vex system have been exterminated by the Jigalwin Hive. With their ancient breeding ground scoured, the Tianki will no longer be able to reproduce for the first time in galactic history. Their path is their path to eventual extinction seems unavoidable now. All right, that's good for us. That's, we approve. One of our spaceports has been lost. We approve of mass extinction. The Jacolin Hive is doing something right. So I need two more destroyers. And then two cruisers. One of our spaceports is under attack. Oh yeah? Should I care? One of our oh yeah, I, I should care. Let's jump on them. That's a strong fleet. I know it's annoying that I keep checking this, One but every time I can attack. reverse engineer technology and get a research boost or whatever it helps me do, it's random every time. But it's so worth it. I'm so glad that we can do this, actually. One of our spaceports has been lost. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. Okay, we're jumping on them. They didn't lose any ships. Okay, let's start using the other shipyard to help this fleet. We need 19 corvettes, 8 destroyers, and 5 cruisers. Alright. <laughs> Not yet.
We have mastered a new technology. All right, they signed another research agreement. See? So, 27,000 society research for free. Okay. Spaceborne monstrosity encounter. Bumblebee is ready. We'll upgrade this building, and then once this is done... Oh, no, it is done now, so we can upgrade the ring. Four destroyers here. I missed them. One of our stations is under attack. Station engaged. Spaceborne abomination encountered. Oh, did I forget to build a destroyer? Corvette, that's what I meant. Okay, this ship is done upgrade or done building the furnace. Right? Or did I not queue it up? place and I'm constantly going in and out of <laughs> zooming in and out. Okay, so this fleet needs seven destroyers. And then we need eight destroyers and five cruisers. Spaceports is under attack. We'll leave these defensive platforms alone for now. Matter decompressor anchor to extract matter from the to Nari Vortex, we need a secure base to build the facility on, which we already built. Where is it? Here. There it is. The anchor has been built on the very edge of the event, event horizon and is held in place against the immense gravitational pull by an advanced gravity redirection engine. <laughs> Uh, which turns a Tunari Vortex's own gravity against it. So, this is just level 1, and now it's giving us 500 minerals, which is more than what we need right now, so we don't even need to upgrade this again. 
for a while. Why does he not... Why does this construction ship not building the furnace? Why does he keep stopping? I'm gonna sit here and watch. It just instantly ends. Alright, maybe I'll build it on this. Nope. I'm confused. It's refusing to do it. Okay, fine. Can you at least build the Dyson Swarm in this system? Alright, it lets me do that. We'll find another system to build an Arc Furnace in. It's not high priority. I'm just a little confused as to why. And I'm not going to sit here and try to figure it out. Spawn horror encountered. Construction complete. Yeah, okay. orbital ring is done. Bumblebee's a generator world, so that means we build this. DBNC is under control here. We'll build another exotic gas refinery. I need to get that into the positive. Same with the volatile mode, so we'll build another one of those. Then we'll upgrade all of these. Almost done. So one more destroyer. Five cruisers. I really want to rush this invasion because they're very distracted countering this. So that would be the best time to invade. The longer I wait, <laughs> the harder it's, harder it's gonna get. from this fleet to go here. The two cruisers need to go in here. One of our spaceports is under attack. No more building here. Okay, so we'll just finish up what we need from this starbase. Almost there, almost done. One of our spaceports has been lost. Halfway done with our new swarm. 
This time I'm getting engineering research, 27k. Speed it up a little bit. One of our spaceports is under attack. One of our stations is under attack. One of our spaceports has been lost. One more fleet to go. All right, I'm pumped. Hostile Invasion's about to begin. Engaged. Council agenda ready. That agenda is really good. It should help our all of our resource production. So we should get more alloys now. There we go. 616. It's not bad. We're all set. Okay, so we've got four fleets here. One is going to stay behind, so we only need three. Let's let the Autobot stay behind. Everybody else? Let's invade again. One of our spaceports is under attack. One of our spaceports has been lost. They're taking these back. Station engaged. That was dumb of me. My army's taking damage unnecessarily. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. But I deserve that because I'm an idiot. Our new Dyson Swarm is done. Construction complete. Invading Xeno Lair. We already upgraded our new one to the top tier. <laughs> um, let me try to build those uh, that furnace again. If the furnace doesn't work out. See, yeah, it goes away. It just instantly cancels. That's okay. You know what I'm going to do instead? We're going to go to Megatron, and we are going to start building a new megastructure, the Science Nexus. Uh, 
uh, it doesn't matter. Let's build it around this gas giant. Now, this structure should help us stay ahead of our enemies in terms of technology, because I'm noticing... The tech level... Oh, no, that's my tech level. The SOW tech level is 9,000. Over 9,000. We're still catching up, kind of. But I want to start preventing the rest of these empires from being able to catch up to me. The only one I want to catch up to and surpass is the SOW. If we keep things status quo with the rest of them, uh, which the Nexus will help us do, it will help us stay ahead of everybody else. Our invasion of the SOW is going to nullify their higher technology level because we're going to destroy them. So we will be on the top, excluding the fallen empires, of course. I'm not counting them. But this science and nexus will help us stay ahead. So we'll start building that. While they're invading that, I should be bombarding this planet. Invading Zeno Lair. already starting to come back and this is the only way they can get here so once we close off these systems everything that I've taken thus far is safe I'll jump out beyond the border with this fleet and we'll catch them station engaged One of our spaceports is under attack. Xeno station engaged. Now we can bombard it a little bit. One of our spaceports has been lost. Xeno station engaged. Now, physics research. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. One of our spaceports is under attack. That's the only thing in the system, just that habitat. Invading Zeno Lair. Okay, remember, we're rushing for this. Since my alloy production isn't being strained so much by building ships, let's get some more defensive platforms here. We're good here. This fleet could use a couple of corvettes. Let me check on the attrition of all of my border fleets. These guys are good. Uh, 
These guys are okay, too. Good. Good. Oh, no, we need a battleship. Xeno station engaged. One of our spaceports has been lost. Look at that, 1,400 energy production every turn. And we're no longer in the negative with our rare resources. We're not making a lot of volatile modes and exotic gases, but at least we're making something and we're not, we're not losing them over time. All right, so two objects in here. I can invade this one. Invading Xeno Lair. Yeah, this is where this is the system one of us where the SOW is producing ships. I mean, once I destroy it, they'll probably shift it over to another system somewhere else, but I've identified where they're coming from. One of our spaceports is under attack. Xeno Lair secured. Zeno Lair. Zeno Lair. One of our spaceports is under attack. Can I handle this? Absolutely. Absolutely. This fleet doesn't have a leader. I'm going to, instead of hiring a new one, I'm just going to borrow one from another fleet. The Comic-Cons, they haven't fought anybody in a while. Unit T9. We'll switch them over here. See? Instant... Transmission over here. Xeno station engaged. Offense taking. Leaked recordings of one of our envoys' private conversation have the Trek Potion Commerce scaled up in arms. They're already fighting us. What does this mean? What does this mean? I gain some unity, absolutely. We're already fighting. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. I've already slaughtered millions. Millions of their citizens. I just got a free commander. Well, it's not free. I am over my commander limit. They just suicided a small little fleet. Okay, what we're going to do here is use one of my fleets. 
Oh, you know what? Let's take the system first. Yeah, I see that he's coming around behind. That's okay. One of our spaceports is under attack. Xeno station engaged. Okay. We have to upgrade this station now. And we'll keep this fleet here, so... Now these guys will come down here, take out this. One of our spaceports has been lost. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. Habitat's the only thing. One of our spaceports is under attack. One of our spaceports is lost. One of our stations is under attack. Spaceports has been lost. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. Construction complete. Okay. Let's start building some platforms. Then we'll upgrade it again. And then I will build some shipyards here, just to maintenance this fleet. Xeno land secured. So there's three shipyards here while we are in the system before we destroy those. We'll let both of our fleets repair here. Okay. Move on. Research agreement. The SOW stopped guaranteeing the independence of the RCP. That doesn't really matter much. My the rivalry with the Kingdom of Neville Jarl is over. They ended it. Are they realizing that I'm destroying the SOW right now? And they're like, uh oh. <laughs> That's what they said in their head. Uh oh. Station engaged. One of our spaceports is under attack. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. Why aren't you guys fighting? Oh, because they're leaving? Are they trying to abandon? We have now begun the massive undertaking of constructing a science nexus. The foundation is in place and preparations are underway to add to the main hub. The promise of new groundbreaking technologies and the realization of ideas beyond our wildest imaginations await. And though the road ahead is long and full of challenges, we have taken the first step. Could the endless mysteries of the universe finally be within our grasp? Absolutely.
Okay. 15,000 alloys to upgrade it to the level 1. We don't have that quite yet. But we'll save up for it. Fleet engaged. One of our See, look at this. They're making progress. The Free Helven Confederation is starting to make progress against them. But the Horde still has some strong fleets. There's still this one, Chosen of the Great Khan. Here's another one. Here's some more as well. Xeno station engaged. Invading Xeno Lair. Xeno Lair secured. One of our spaceports has been lost. Let's take out this one fleet that got past us and is recapturing all this. Let's take them out. If I can catch them. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. This seems to be another system where they're building ships. So they might have built some shipyards here. We did catch them. Nice. So then we'll come up this way, take Nyx back, because they have a station here, and then these two. And then that should stop their production. If you notice, there's a threat. There's a big creature here, or whatever you want to call it. He's patrolling back and forth. <laughs> this is preventing them from being able to build ships over here and send them this way, so... And actually, attack. this might actually prove to be a nuisance for us, because the SOW has a habitat right here. And I need to destroy this habitat to destroy them. I might be able to sneak through the system without pissing this thing off. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. One of our spaceports has been lost. I don't have any research on this planet, but that's okay. You know what, guys? Since we're building so many exotic gas refineries, <laughs> let's just dedicate this planet to making some exotic gases. Invading Xeno Lair. Yep, there was a shipyard here. Let's check the SOW's ranking now. 53. One of our spaceports has been lost. Okay. 
Xeno station engaged. Invading Xeno Lair. And upgrade the Autobots. We have mastered a new technology. Our ships have been upgraded. Xeno Lair secure. Oh, there's a planet here, too. Oh, I can invade that one. No problem. I'm trying to see where their ships are coming out of now. They must be coming out of these two. I guess they could build ships here, too, but this isn't going to be hard to take, all of that. One of our spaceports is under attack. One of our spaceports has been lost. Xeno Lair secured. Head up this way. Kind of... This is a ruined orbital ring. I don't need to worry about that. The SOW has a decent sized fleet. Not enough to be scary, as long as I stay on the border. That's scary. Okay. Good thing I noticed that in time. I have two fleets over here. I'm gonna shift one. Battlebots come here. You come here. I have 35 defensive platforms. Let's see if they're attacking. They're not. They're just sit they're just staying put. Xeno station engaged. We caught it in time. One of our spaceports is under attack. One of our spaceports has been lost. Construction complete.
They must be building up fleets here. There's no way, there's no way those ships came from here, so we've identified our next target. I think I can jump out and take this fleet out without worrying too much. Or maybe I don't have to. Let's not worry about it. Xeno station engaged. Hey, okay, let's modify our orbital ring. Oh, no, no. We want to do a naval logistics office. That's what I want to do. Alright, guys. Time is getting ahead of us here. I need to think about wrapping it up in a few minutes. Energy, more energy credits from jobs is always helpful. Always helpful. Zeno station engaged. Right. One of our stations is under attack. You know what, guys? Now that I have these two fleets together, we can actually attack this. We're attacking this. As long as we come into the system together. As long as they enter the system together. Which they will. They probably will take some losses. That's a decent size force. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. Slow down a second here. Um, a few Corvettes, a couple of the destroyers. This one didn't take any losses. Let's finish up these few worlds. And then we're going to end it. And then I think of what I'm going to do once we're done with all of these is I can use one of these fleets, maybe. We'll do some shifting around. I'll position another fleet here. And then two fleets should be enough to take this out. We'll jump on this system because I think this is where they're building their fleets. Yeah. See, they just pumped out a 62,000 fleet. Oh, no. This is the one they had here. They're just reinforcing it. As long as we stay behind our... As long as we stay in our border, we'll be fine. Zeno 
Casino Station engaged. Aren't you attacking them? Come on, attack them. There we go. Oh, maybe they were attacking them. Okay, this full strength fleet, we can shift around again. And I'll get the two fleets here. Upgrading the science nexus. Invading Zeno Lair. One of our stations is under attack. I'm really tempted to attack on this side over here, too. <laughs> uh, before we end it. Because we're pretty much done on this... on this front. Zeno station engaged. One of our spaceports is under attack. One of our spaceports has been lost. Uh-oh. Gonna hold off on this invasion for now. Let's get another one over here. Just in case. Let's see if they're attacking. Nope. Just another case of them massing ships over here. Alright, I take that back. We're not gonna invade this part yet. I think that's gonna have to wait for the next one. Xeno fleet engaged. Xeno station engaged. One of our spaceports is under attack. One of our spaceports has been lost. They're shifting away from this border now, I think. Xeno station engaged. One of our spaceports is under attack. They're attacking here. Track Potion Commerce Guild is coming here. Okay. One of our military stations has been lost. Spaceborne Abomination 
Uh, we lost one cruiser there. And I'm already in the process of building up the D, uh, the defensive platform, so we're good. We caught that in time. I could probably beat that with this fleet, but... This fleet isn't going anywhere, so they're not running away. I think they want to bait me into attacking this fleet so they can come in all at the same time. Which I'm going to do because I have two fleets now. Let's take them out. And then we're going to wrap this one up, guys. This will be a big blow to them. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. Still not moving, not reinforcing them. Okay. Xeno station engaged. Still not moving, they're just gonna let me attack them. Oh my god, I hate when it does that. Spaceborne monstrosity encountered. Alright, wonderful. Okay, guys, that's what I'm gonna do. That's where we're gonna end it. We're at full capacity for our minerals already? I wish we were at full capacity for our allies, but no, nope, we're using them too much. But we've successfully, as far as I... Um, as far as we've gone so far, we, we... Destroyed the SOW and took out all their planets. Let's check their rating now. 53. They're still at 53. How is that possible? Maybe once we destroy these... It'll impact it a bit. And then they do have one here. And then we have to figure out a way to get here. I think next episode I'm going to try to sneak a fleet past this. As long as my fleet is set to, like, passive and they're not set to aggressive, we might be able to sneak by without pissing this off. And then we can take out this planet. But we are seriously hurting the SOW. They are on their last legs. Even though the score doesn't really reflect that. Their economic strength has gone down a whole bunch. It's their subject empires that are keeping them up here, you know? <laughs> but anyway, friends, thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed, and I will see you in the next one. Episode 21 will be coming at you soon, but until then, have a good one, guys.